Hey guys, so this is Ladislav uh, right here and uh, today I want to share with you uh, one of the questions of our coaching clients. And basically the question is how to create a database view in SE11 with left outer join. Uh, so basically this is the kind of translated question uh, because the original question was like, can I create search help or view with all the existing ICPNs? You don't know right now what the ICPN is, uh, but uh, with all the kind of keys uh, that we are having in one of our database tables, plus information about order ID from ordered items database table. If you are not aware of these things, uh, that's, no, that's no problem because let me quickly in, explain to you uh, what it really means. Uh, basically, the um, ICPN is the key in a database table for the cars. Uh, so we can see, okay, like ICPN is the key in here. And uh, we are like in, in, in this uh, case, this person wants to display in a view uh, all the fields from the car database table. Those are the ones. So you can see uh, a mandant uh, ICPN model ID, store ID, price, currency. And order ID is from the second database table uh, called order items. Uh, and there are just two fields, ordered item and ICPN. Okay, so ICPN is the is the connector or is the foreign key uh, for, for the ordered item uh, database table. Uh, and the question is, if we can display all the data from the car database table, these ones, and add the information about ordered ID, uh, if the car was already bought, okay? If, if it was not bought, so there would not be any, uh, there would be empty space. Uh, so question is how to do this thing. Uh, and this person already has, uh, has tried uh, to do that. Like, uh, like, a, like this person was already creating the view, um, uh, displaying the fields and joining those two tables together, car and order item, ordered item database table. And they, in, in, the, in, uh, in the case of this person, like it only creates uh, two, um, to records. Uh, the reason why is because those two tables uh, are able to join or kind of uh, this um, database table car contains only uh, two cars who were sold uh, with order ID uh, 12. And uh, like, and uh, so basically, um, this person is missing the rest of the of the data uh, from uh, about the car. So uh, question, is it possible to do that? And if so, how to do that? So let me quickly go uh, and do the, the whole thing uh, for you right away so that you can see how it's being done. So if I go to SE11 and let me create a kind of test, uh, I will call it test view or, um, or um, okay, test view, it's, it's fine for this purpose. And we will create a database view so that we can see the results. Uh, and first table, let's put here some uh, uh, short descriptions. So test uh, view for Web Academy. Uh, and first table is D uh, DDIC car. And uh, if we if we will see the relationships between uh, all between these the, these database tables, we can we can see that okay, uh, this uh, is the dependent uh, database table order uh, with the ordered items. Okay, so let's copy this one. And what uh, SAP does is that it uh, already uh, fills out jo uh, joint conditions. Uh, so what will happen uh, right now? And uh, yeah, firstly we will need to uh, put there the fields in there, so like uh, based on the specification, we will put there all the fields uh, from the car database table. And also we want to add the one field from the uh, database table about ordered items, okay? So this is at the end. Uh, let's try to activate the whole thing, uh, put it to the uh, local objects. There are some errors, so let's check them out. Uh, view was not activated, uh, field name ICPN is not unique. Okay, so we will need, um, okay, so, okay, uh, not ICPN, but the ordered order uh, ID. Okay, that's my fault. So ordered item, order ID, like this, and let's try to activate it once more. Warnings occurred, so warnings are fine. Uh, let's go to the view 
and let's check it out uh right now we do have eight uh this is uh, i'm currently on my system so i do have eight uh records in there and there are eight icp uh eight, eight cars and um eight ordered i uh, like six ordered items i i've already um, um opened the, the se11 uh transaction where you can see the transparent table and uh, let's take a look into the uh, let's go to se16 and check it out okay so this is the uh, i have 14 records in this database table uh and there are uh, six icpns and for each IC, uh, order id i'm sorry and for each order id uh i do have some icpns okay and uh so so those icpns are being um uh, are being found in the car database table uh like here let me just open up all of them okay so this is how it looks like so that's why we have eight um eight records uh only right now so this is the the same issue that this person has uh so how to put there the uh, the rest of the of the data so like for that we will need to create something which is called left outer join so left uh it means that from from the left database table we need to put there all the all the um all the data and just um and just the rest of the um like missing data is being pulled out of the second database table from the right database table okay so this is what we can uh what we need to do and so let's find it out if this is possible so how to find it out is that you go to uh to table join conditions and we need to find out if this is possible to do that at the end so um so we would need to go um like one of the things or two things that you can do uh one thing is to uh search that for this information within sap uh, so somewhere in the uh, f1 help or you go to google and uh, google it out uh, however uh, and let me um, let me so so my preferred way is to find it out directly within sap so what i would do i would just click somewhere here and let's say in the tables and press f1 uh and search for the information okay so here is the database table name name of basis table that was included in the view c task oriented instructions reference uh the, uh, the documentation for for classical view so you will need to dig deeper okay uh so like i would uh, like my first uh guess would be okay let's go into uh the reference and right here in the classic views we can uh, let's take a look okay so so uh so here are the basis table so uh view fields key uh join conditions if you would be going through this coaching program you would already know about all those things but here what we are looking for is the join conditions okay so let's take a look conditions for joining multiple basis tables using are using inner joins or outer joins okay so right now i'm already able to see like okay this is uh, something that we are not able to do uh, within SAP. So what we are able to do is, is to do just inner joins or outer joins. So how to do that? Uh, a join condition compares two fields from basis tables of a view equality. If no join conditions are specified for a pair of basis tables, the view is used to select the cross product of the basis tables. Um, in a nutshell, like uh, this is the language that is not not always easy to read so let me kind of translate it to uh to what it really means so if, if in order to use inner join basically this is what we see right now like uh the left table uh left table only finds the data uh which uh, which are relevant also for the right table okay so this is why this person is uh, seeing just two rows and this is why we are seeing only eight rows in in our view because the left table is uh, is finding the data for the right table uh based on the condition uh based on the icpn condition okay so only uh if icpn equals in you know, both database tables uh so that's why uh this is the inner join uh and in order to uh display the outer join so what it means that outer join does that uh all the rows from the left table are combined with all the rows from the from the right table uh and in order to do that uh and what what sap tells us is that we need to we don't we, like we need to delete the conditions uh and this by this uh this way we can um we can do the outer join so, so let's take a look at that uh so for what i will do i have highlighted the both uh rows of, of, of the conditions and just delete them and right now uh, let's uh, activate the whole thing warnings occurred 
Uh, okay, so right now SAP is telling us that like all the fields are evaluated as a key field. So kind of um, uh, not all the base tables are linked with join conditions. Okay, we know that uh, because we want to create an outer join. Uh, let's go to uh, display the content. So what will happen? Uh, let's take a look. So right now, suddenly we have um, 200 uh, rows in here. Let's take a look on how many rows are in there. So actually two millions, uh, more than uh, almost three million uh, rows. Uh, so what, where, this where this number comes from? Uh, this number comes from the, as, as I said, like this is the combination of, of the two tables. So, so in, in uh, order item database table, we have 14, um, records and in uh, let's take a look in how many records there are in a car database table so there are actually 198000 uh, so let me pull out the calculator so what uh, so what we should uh, like where this number comes from it should be the the multiplication of the uh, 198023 uh, times 14 okay because for each and every row uh, we are uh, adding the the we are getting num uh, lines from the left database table and also, also from the right database table. And let's uh, hit on equal. So actually, yeah, so, so exactly this number. So this is basically what we, what we have already expected. So we can all also do the uh, outer join. So kind of this is the combination of all the, all the, uh, all the ICPNs from the left side and all the ordered items. Uh, so if I uh, if I uh, sort it uh, based on ICPN, so I can see that okay, so here is the one ordered item uh, with zero, which is a mistake, but okay, it's it's in there. There are one, two, three, uh, um, one, two, three uh, ones, one, two, three ones. Okay, so so you can see like it it correlates. So what we can do only in SE11 is that we can do only le uh, left. Uh, I'm sorry inner join or outer join. There are, those are the only two uh, things that you can do. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. If you want to do something like this uh, person wants, uh, we, will need to, um, we will need to create a, our own um, um, view um, by, by, by doing that uh, by ABAP. Okay, so we cannot do that by uh, SAP. We can do that by ABAP. One last thing, uh, the reason why I'm, I'm looking uh, most of the time, I try to look for the information directly within SAP is because if I would be directly going to Google, and let me actually show you because, so you can find uh, various uh, kinds of information that uh, at the end, it's, it's just the yes or no answer, okay? So you can, can you create it or not? Okay, and uh, right here, uh, let's say one of the, one of the former members, uh, like this is the person who, who tells like, okay, like uh, you can create only inner join condition in, uh, uh, in database view. And if you would be having such um, kind of information uh, from, from, from the internet, you can easily uh, get lost. So, so what I recommend, firstly, uh, the first thing to do is to start with the SAP F1 help. And if you don't know to find information there or it's kind of, or the language of, of the help is not that, um, easy to understand, then go to uh, Google. Uh, but what I recommend, like don't just stick with one information, like let's say this one, okay? Like you, if you would see this guy telling you, okay, you can create only inner join, um, like you want to uh, have proof of at least two or three guys uh, about the same topic, okay? So, and if you start to see, okay, like some, somebody else uh, told something, something else, then okay, like they're kind of warning, uh, mm, Icons should, uh, should should blink in, in your head so so that you could, you should you should dig deeper okay but this is the longer longer uh, way to uh, find the information about what you need so that's all from my side all the, all the things and all the tips that I wanted to share also with this issue that this person had.
And if you like this video, then just hit the subscribe button so that you can get all the information about what we are doing here uh, right away. And ideally, just go to ababacademy.com and just uh, sign up to our uh, roadmap to ABAB where you will be able to find a personalized way for you to get into ABAB as soon as possible so that you can grow your career with, with ABAB. See you soon and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.